Good morning, everyone. This is Ifat, your G Plus go to gal. And today we are talking with Luis Galarza about offline and online marketing. And um, Luis owns three restaurants, but you have uh, even a longer, right, entrepreneurial history. So uh, can you tell us about that? Well, <laughs> yes, I've been um, doing business uh, or even trying to do business since I was in my teen years. <laughs> Okay, um, my actually my first business was I was uh, created a team of um, students that were um, you can say the smartest students in the school. Okay, to provide services to other students to help them um, uh, pass uh, different um, you know their, their tests or, or help with their homework and stuff like that. And it was good, but um, some teachers didn't find it um, ethical. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, I don't know. We we didn't we we weren't cheating or helping cheat or anything. We just uh, we were helping them uh, improve. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. Some teachers didn't didn't like the idea. <laughs> okay. So that was the reason we had to close that. Well, it was it was something small. I was like maybe 15 when I did that. <laughs> okay. And uh, well, after that, uh, over here in the United States, um, um, I did uh, some wholesaling. That was actually my first crazy um, business in here, and it was good. But uh, you know, in wholesale, you need a big, big carpet, okay. And that was actually one, one of my, the things that stopped me to continue. And so I just move, move on to um, to find something uh, uh, better and, and actually move close to my passion, you can say, okay. So. Um, and the restaurants actually was because of my because of my wife. I told you my wife is uh she's from Thailand, from Thailand, half Thailand, half Laos, and that uh, that connection. And she's she's also a, a entrepreneur too. She also come up with some great ideas that I don't even know what <laughs> you know where it's come out from. So so like oh that's awesome. So every time we she 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 comes up with a new idea, you know we we put on action right away. And same thing as uh, so I come out with a, a new idea, you know. So um, um, uh, the restaurants we started uh, around five restaurants, uh, like one ten years ago, and it was a little bit overwhelming at the beginning. And everything that we were doing, the marketing part was excellent, and that was actually bad <laughs> because it went, it got too busy. To the point that we're like no 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 more so we have to close we have to actually sell two of them to to get to the to go to the point that we have right now so um uh, even with the three sometimes can be a little bit um, uh, busy you can say <laughs> especially when um, when you open close to a beach <laughs> right and your um actually your you had a bet with your wife, right, that you're going to promote the restaurants without any social media marketing. Uh, well, that was the main part of this crazy uh, journey because um, it wasn't actually it wasn't my wife, it was a friend, a really close friend that is also a, a really a smart um, business person. And we were talking and uh, he said, no, no, no. He told me, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you that you cannot... And I know you cannot proceed without uh, web marketing or any traditional marketing. Uh, uh, you know, you have to. You're gonna have to eventually close some of the restaurants or or go out of business. Okay. So I told him. So I took it there, <laughs> and uh, that was like around five years ago, actually. Okay. So the there was supposed to be for six years. <laughs> <laughs> so so I need to do market. all this for six years. With no marketing, no direct type of marketing, so I cannot use no social media. I cannot have a website. <laughs> no, um, nothing direct. I can do. Uh, I can do no um, um, radio advertising or any type of advertising. Um, uh, no print. No direct mail. Nothing. Nothing like that. So I had to be. At the beginning, let me tell you, it was hard because I was like, okay. We're gonna have to do this. We're gonna do this. So we're gonna make it happen. So everything um, at the beginning was more of thinking, thinking, and 
we were looking at the beginning we're still we're still in the summer time which is you know that's our, our busy time but when as soon the the, the winter came and we didn't feel no honey no ideas what we're going to do <laughs> you know because that's, that's a slow time that's where you need the, the marketing to bring people in so um we were struggling a little bit of um thinking so we were like okay hold on a second we're trying to think inside the box okay let's let's put that box in you know, rip it off, put it in the trash, okay, let's go out of that. And then we'll, we were starting thinking, okay, if you go to a restaurant, and you, you know, sometimes you go to a restaurant or to a place or a business, and you say, oh, um, this, this person is nice, but we would be better if he has this, or we would be better if he has this. So we, we were thinking that way, okay, and instead of just yes, thinking it, we write down all those ideas, that, oh, what, what about if you, this happens? What about if, you know, we put this in there? And we start doing it. So every week we start something new. Okay. And first started like um, every week something, one thing, and we keep it for like a month to see what happens. Um, but then we start getting even more crazy and get, start just putting uh, uh, more ideas and more uh, different types of uh, promotional, promotional events every single week and then start every single day. And right now it's still continuing like you said. That's the way they are, they, we have to um, keep uh, the, the business uh, strong by uh, promoting it, having something for them to talk about. So, uh -huh. for example, what kind of a promotional event would you do? Um, what are you doing today? Uh, well, like I told you before, I don't know if you uh, remember about the, um, the promotion we did with the Avengers. Mm -hmm. Well, imagine. Um, Getting or putting um trying to put a, a promotion of giving free tickets to everybody. Okay, for everybody that comes to the restaurant, doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> you come to eat, you get a free ticket. Okay, but remember, we can't promote that. But you, so, you done something more than that. You just you didn't just give tickets to people who came to eat at your restaurant. You uh, you actually pull them to your restaurant, right? How do you do that? Well, exactly. That we. I, the idea was already there and plan, for the plan. Okay, so we're like, okay, we're gonna make it happen. Doesn't matter. We're gonna try to. I'm gonna try to talk to the to the closest uh, to the local uh, theaters to see if they uh, agree on some kind of um, partnership. Okay, if they don't agree, I'm still gonna do it. So I went over there and uh, they actually agreed to to um, give us the tickets for less. Okay, so we we plan with them and everything. Everything they they they, they didn't give me no limits. So I can sell as many tickets as I want, which is great because I didn't know it was gonna be that crazy. <laughs> okay, so we put this this a uh, uh, couple employees that actually we we pay um, some of the college students <laughs> to have these big these big uh, posters, wearing these posters outside the theaters, promoting it. You uh, uh, don't pay for the Avengers, you get it for free here. I mean, with them, you get you, you get a few free ticket for each uh, member of your family. Okay, that's it. That's all we did. So I can <laughs> let me tell you I, that day, that Friday was insane. You you had lines outside your restaurant because of that. Yeah, the line was like around two blocks long. We actually had to uh, we had to call um, uh, uh, security and stuff like that to to control the the the, the area or big big maybe a bit. So things that we didn't uh, we didn't know is gonna happen. We thought it's gonna be busy, okay, but not that busy. <laughs> so if okay. you if you give me a second, I wanna open up the mics and I wanna ask people. You're going to a movie right now, and then before you buy the ticket, you see someone there that says, "Don't buy the ticket, get it for free here." Are you gonna take the next show, go have a meal, get a free ticket, and then come back to the theater? That definitely goes for the meal. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I can give a free ticket for everybody and every member of your family, <laughs> every every person that comes to to the person. And to be honest, with ticket prices being the way they are at the moment, I mean, usually you go for a meal anyway, either after the show or before the show. Definitely. So yeah. if you're going to get the ticket for free, you just see a later show. Then why not? Exactly. Awesome. That's why we we started um, uh, the promotion early in the morning. You know, we uh, 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 guys were. Um, Outside from from um, around at least around 10 in the morning when the, the some theater started opening, so um, 
and uh, some of the theaters are already in a busy area, like in a mall or in a, uh, some kind of plaza. So even if the theater wasn't open, people that were walking around it, they see a promotion. So that gave us a, the, the extra push. Okay. How so close was, to the theater? Mm, one of the theater was, is like an hour from, <laughs> from the person, which is crazy. And the other two, um, like around, one is like 20, 20 minutes and the other one like around 35 minutes from it. And that, and that one makes it even crazy because the people that will, people coming from everywhere. Right. So people drove like two hours into the free tickets. That's, that's really cool because, you know, that's uh, definitely viral <laughs> offline marketing that yeah. created a big buzz. And I think um, afterwards you also do some kind of games and stuff like that inside the restaurant so people are liking the experience and they're returning because of that. Definitely. Well, um, we do all that, all kind of different things. We're trying to bring gamification back to the offline world, you can say. Um, you know, when you go to a, um, um, a website that has some kind of the award system, or sometimes they don't give you nothing, they just give you a little, um, <laughs> a, a little badge that say, "Oh, you did this, you did a good job." Okay. Well, imagine we do that, but we get, the badge always comes with some kind of coupon or something like that. You know, some kind of promotion. So um, they um, they w they always they, they love it and they they keep coming, they keep coming. So that's one of the main the main things that we're doing. Um, well, gamification in our in our in our experience is uh, one of the best things that you can do because that give you, they give us a free PR. <laughs> okay, um, it, because because we do some crazy stuff, people are ready and, and willing to share those things. Okay. So, okay, so someone got oh you, you know um I went to this restaurant they made me run for 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 um as a what call it with, with the egg on the on, on the on the spoon and uh, and I won and I got a free meal for all my family for you know for two days or something like that okay so sometimes uh, we have we have the fork uh, we call it the the, uh, the fork goose <laughs> which our our waitresses they they, they, they tell Every, everybody that comes in, say, hey, when uh, the menu come out, he's going to say fork. He, the, the, he gonna say, when you say fork, you need to pull your fork out. If you, pull, if you, you are the first one, you get your free meal. We pay, we, we pay for your meal. That's awesome. Because that actually means I'm not listening to the conversation happening here. I'm actually paying attention to what's happening in the restaurant. <laughs> exactly. So people are like, Waiting for the okay. What's going on? What, what sometimes, sometimes the the the, the, the manager comes out. He he do like I going to say something and they come back in. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> so you know we play around like that. Um, but it, people people loving and uh, one thing that we also do, is, like I told you, we we cannot use um, no social media at all. Okay. So what we do is instead of we having a uh, presence on social media. Our own presence, so people can engage with us, you know, engage and interact with us. We do it backwards. We bring our social media engagement into their profile, into their pages. You know what I mean? So they share. We we um, every time they win something, sometimes they uh, they have to um, share it. Okay. Most of the time they don't they don't because you don't you don't really have to ask and they, they will do it anyways. So that was that was uh, really works in especially in social media. Do you also have a loyalty program? Yes, yes, like uh, like um, as you know you know almost every store now have a some kind of reward program and it works it works uh, you have to I mean it doesn't matter how you you you, uh, you set it up um, if you give something back for every time they use your store or you buy or, or you need your service or whatever, they will keep coming back because they know, oh, you know, I got this, um, this promotional or promotional card or the reward card that every time I use it, I get points so or I get um, um, some kind of coupon or something. Okay. So what do you so do? All that. What's your loyalty mm -hmm. program? Uh, we got two different ones. One is uh, for the top promoters, okay, people that always share stuff on the on the on the streams or on the social media, we give them a, um, like a platinum card, you can say, 
Okay. So every time they come to 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 the the, the, the time to um to um for for the services and stuff, they in the car they get a um, um you can say like a check like a checkpoint, and every time they they, they come two times, if they come to the store two times, they get ten percent off. And for, for the for the platinum card, they get twenty percent. For everybody else, it's 10, 10 to fifteen, depending on uh, depending on uh, sometimes we raise it up. So it's like around ten to ten to fifteen, and it's not that much, okay. And uh, but it works. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves a discount, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, so that's why that's why uh, sites like Groupon and Little Souls, Living Social, um, you know, they um they they work. I mean, they 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 so successful right now because of, because of the um, especially the economy, the, the way the economy is right now. Is helping these type of uh, promotions um, uh, be uh, more effective. So you basically reward your fans. You find like your biggest fans. You turn them into marketers, and you reward them by giving them discounts on your food. So you keep exactly. having traffic, and you keep having them coming back to your restaurant. Well, um, you remember that I told you before that you had to try to make every customer, every um, person that comes to you, into a promoter on instantly. Okay, everybody that comes to me. They get a the work card, okay, but they don't get one. Get, they don't get one. They get one work card for themselves, and they get two, okay, for them to give away. Okay, now the, the person that the people that come after the two promotional uh, cards, uh, card, they um they get an instant discount the first time they use it. Okay, they also make help um uh, the main customer. To earn another extra discount because of because of the business. Okay, so um, and in that works even better. That will actually makes a make each customer come into our own um, marketing. Uh, so let let me make sure I I got it. You uh you give the person who came in their own um uh, discount card, uh, and then you give them reward card, yeah. reward card, and then you give them two different yeah. ones to give to their friends. Right, and then yep. those two ones say yep. where they got it from. So the person who gave it to them also gets something in return. Yeah, well, the, the first time they use it, they get forty percent off, forty to fifty percent off. That's a lot. So they want, I want because I, because I want them to use it now. Remember that. So I want them to come to us so they experience what we have in here, what we have in the in the, in the lessons. So, so um, they get a bigger yeah. discount the first time. Okay. So now what you do with the other ones? Um, every time they use it. Every time when they actually use it, um, the first customer, the one that the, the, the main referral, the main referral, he he gets extra um, um, discount. Like um, every time the other people use it, he automatically I, I send um, a coupon to that to to the main referral for like 25 percent off in the, in the next uh, visit. Okay. Also, uh, you can also cross promote your your stories. Like cross promoting, for example. Um, you give an discount not just for the for the restaurant that you use or the store or the restaurant that you um are promoting the main the main one that they they visit, but you want to visit the the other ones too. So I give him discount for all of them. That's really cool. So you you also were talking about uh, being the purple cow in your market. Exactly. That's I like what Seth uh, Gordon said on his book Purple Cow. Trying you need to try to be the market. Okay. Like he says, you know, um, if you go to uh, you, you drive in the highway and you see a cow, and you're not gonna stop. But if it's a purple, uh, that cow is purple, you're gonna stop because you're like, where the cow came from? You know what I mean? <laughs> so you need to try to become the the, the purple cow in the in the ring trio in the market because that way automatically people come to you. You like like you have that um, your brand becomes so catchy that they come to you. Okay. So how do you uh, how do you position yourself as the purple cow? Well, yeah. by doing all the different type of promotions, different um, crazy ideas that we throw every time in there, um, that is one of the reasons. Um, uh, that one of the ways that we do that. Uh, one one weekend, we actually brought a cow outside the <laughs> outside the restaurant, and we put a purple um, a jacket to it. <laughs> And people were taking pictures with the cow. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, so, you know what I mean? So you, sometimes it's, it's just a crazy idea. You have to, uh, and uh, 
uh, let me tell you, those are the two things, you know, right PR and uh, shares like that, like that. Um, you can't even stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So you, you're looking for, basically, it sounds like, how do I have fun in my business and what else do I do that kind of like stands out and is different from everybody else? Exactly. Well, the, um, when you start a restaurant, especially in a restaurant, you need to start with location first. Okay. Um, location can kill you sometimes. Okay, not no, no get me wrong, you can still do all the different uh, type of marketing to bring people to, to your restaurant or to your business. But for example, in, on, online location would be make sure that you, your store um, is on comes out on Google when someone search for, for the, the keyword that you're targeting. You know? And in the offline world, you need to make sure that um, you are where all the restaurants are. Okay? Or where the traffic is. Okay, if you if you're in a mall or in a in a busy area where there's a lot of uh, businesses, you know people are gonna take lunches some some sometime. <laughs> right. So that's one of the best places to do it. Okay, same thing. Like I say, is like if you are um, in the online world, you need to make sure that you be um, where people go to visit. Okay, they go to where where they look for stuff in, in uh, online would be Google. Okay, you need to be in Google. That's the number one thing. No matter why, you need, that's, that's the main thing that you need to be on. Um, and right now, for example, you need to have your own Google Plus page. Um, even the Facebook page, even if you don't like Facebook that much, you have to be there because Facebook has a big audience, and you need to try to get your, your more exposure for your brand. Everybody wants, want, everybody you can. That's true. Um, you also do something, even though you're not allowed to use any social media because of your bet. Um, yes, yes. Right? <laughs> One more year. <laughs> um, you are bringing technology into your restaurant and using it in kind of cool ways to also the enhance the experience, but also make yes. more money. So how do you do yes. that? Well, uh, we've done around three different things. One, of, uh, you know, we, um, uh, we use um, um, tablets. Uh, iPad as a menu. That's one of the things that we use. And uh, especially in two of the on two of the places you can use um, iPads as a menu. And uh, if it goes in the iPad, it's different than everybody else. Um, attracts the eye and, and makes it um, a different type of experience different way. Okay. Um, the other thing is, which is really crazy, was uh, uh, we got this. Uh, uh, tablet, you can say like tablet tables made by Microsoft. The, the big table, the, the whole table, it looks like a computer screen, and it's like a touch, multi-touch screen. And uh, uh, putting those, we put like one four in uh, one, of the, one of the places. And let me tell you, people were making lines just to be seated on those tables. So then we had to, um, it wasn't good for reason at the beginning because uh, everybody was waiting outside. They, nobody want to sit down on a regular table <laughs> no more. So they were, no, 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 they want to sit down on the touch screen table. So um, we had to start charging <laughs> to, so to make sure so people, okay, now we have to charge now for this. There's no way we're going to have everybody outside for <laughs> just to sit down on those tables, you know what I mean? So um, that's one of the things that, um, that actually worked really good because everybody when they will sit down and they can everybody can interact, they can watch one person will be watching a video, the other person will be um, uh, taking pictures and interacting on Facebook. Um, you can you can all your pictures right on the on, on your on the table and and, and and play with the pictures and they have a, some kind of um, um, uh, phone thing that you can make um, different crazy things with the picture and then share it right on right on the spot without even uh, going to a different computer. Okay, um, is I mean the the those, those tables like was one of the best idea, but also at the beginning we thought like, whoa, what's going on? Why if we have a all the all the line outside? If we you know the restaurant is, is almost empty, is <laughs> no everybody waiting for the tables? So after that we had to try to charge actually. So but you, it still works. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like an internet cafe basically, right? That uh, uh, well that 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 area yes, but a little area. <laughs> Um, so tell me also, how do you, you were using, um, you were talking about using the other people's social network to spread the word about you? 
right? So you kind of like create your own little four square within your restaurant. How do you how do you do that? Well, it's um every time that someone goes to the restaurant, we um uh, we or to, or to any of the any of the businesses, they have to we we give them the opportunity to to um, earn points or earn some kind of discount, uh, inst instant discount, if they share. Uh, their position, their, their, their location online. It can be on uh, Foursquare, uh, um, Facebook, or uh, Google Plus, you know, Google Places. So, um, and it works. It works because, uh, you know, like you say, everybody wants a discount. Well, nobody, nobody, uh, you know, never uh, say no to that. So, if you, buy your, when you work with discount, you have to make sure that you always uh, know you buy online, of course. <laughs> Okay, so you know how you buy online, so you, you know exactly how much you can give and still and still profit. Mm -hmm. You were also talking about um, offline link baiting, like what, what do you call word of mouth baiting? What is that? Well, all the, the stuff that we do in in, in our store and in our restaurants creates that. Okay, but let me give you an example. We have a uh, it's a it's an idea, crazy idea, it's a a flip table. Okay, this table is set up in a in in an awkward position. <laughs> it's only one one table like that in one in in in, in the restaurant. So it's, a, it's set up in an awkward position. Okay, if you sit down on that table and you eat without dropping anything, okay, we pay your meal for the whole for a whole week. Okay, but you have to you have to sit and try to eat without dropping nothing on it. You cannot drop no even one no even, no even one little piece of rice. <laughs> Okay, and it works. People get crazy with that. <laughs> People actually um, uh, they put a name to see who who want to try the the, the pig table. <laughs> you know, that is, uh, cool. that is pretty cool. Yeah. So so that creates um, um, like a big you can say like a link dating offline link dating because people actually have something to share. Like you see something crazy like that, so you know you want to take a picture and, and share it. <laughs> so. People get to get to uh, do that. You get to share those things. Um, we get media a lot because of that. Um, uh, we have um, actually we we had a um, um, a lot of what do call it uh, luck to get a lot of promotions from radio because of our great system. And what I did, I give I give um, fifty percent of um, car to the radio station so that way they can they can uh, make make that into a, um, you can say their reward program for themselves. So every time every time they um, they come in, they give us they, they give us another shootout in, in the ready. <laughs> so that works that works both ways you can say. That's really cool. Um, before we go to the online marketing strategies, uh -huh. there are a few questions here. Uh, one of them, um, I think Oleg, you had a question? Yes, I do. Sorry. Yeah, Luis, very nice to meet you and hello to everybody. I just had a quick question for you in terms of um, uh, your idea with the restaurants uh, and movie theaters. Do movie theaters have any objections at all that this is done? I mean, the, I, I understand you did it, obviously they let you, but is it, do you think this is a typical deal? I mean, do they want that kind of things going on where people get diverted somewhere else and they wind up selling tickets cheaper? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Well, they uh, I seen um, one more restaurant in my actually where I live. That um, if you eat there, you get you get your tickets for like five dollars or something like that from from the next door uh, theater. So those deals is um, those deals work. It's, you need to you need to go out and try to find those um, good uh, partnerships and create those joint ventures. That but you need to make sure that uh, it's a win-win situation for both parties. So you know, I mean, it's the only way you can um, you can have somebody say yes to you. Yeah, I mean, so do you, um, think, do you think it would work uh, in in environments where you don't have a movie theater real close by? I mean, if the movie theater is maybe a couple of blocks away, would you still recommend doing this or not? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, because uh, even our the the theater for our location was really far. Okay, and mm -hmm. and I I thought it's gonna be maybe um. Uh, a little more risky by doing the part, but if you get close to you, even better. The, the one I told you, the person I told you that that's for like five dollars per ticket when you um, when you eat in the restaurant, uh, mm -hmm. they're like right next to the theater. 
So it works. It works really well for for both of them. You can say. And so, Thank you. No, no, you're welcome. Uh, just just go out and uh, uh, who you you know who you proposal out for them and, uh, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Sure. Don't don't do it like me. That I didn't handle proposal. I just did it. I just talked to them. That's it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Blair had another question. Blair, do you want me to ask it or do you want to ask it? I can't hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and ask it for me. Just read it. <laughs> okay, so Blair's question is, um, the tag for this Hangout was, you didn't do any paid advertisement for any social media campaign. Are you planning on doing any social media campaign after your bet is over? And if so, what is the plan? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, you know all the crazy stuff that we're doing on uh, um, you know, places. We have a lot of data, uh, videos, pictures, okay, that are crazy to be out there and be shared. <laughs> so that's one of the main things that I like to uh, bring that um, uh, uh, that wow, the wow pictures, wow moments that we're having this in, in the in the in the place out there. Through social media, blogging, and we definitely we're gonna start doing some blogging um, um, about our own our own website. I think this blogging is better than having a just a steady website, okay? And what you can do is I just have um, um, you know a couple of pages set up for for different things like your menu and stuff like that. And definitely maybe I'm gonna add um, uh, online auditing because that you know that works really good. Right now we we do mobile marketing because that wasn't part of the the, the we call it the beta at the beginning. So uh, mobile marketing, well, the stuff that is actually working for us in mobile is uh, having your your own um, app. Okay, but you need to make sure that this app has um, some way to um, to send instant messages to uh, or 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 you can or you can change your own instant right on the. Uh, to uh, to your to your um, to the people that that, that download the, the the app, you know what I mean? It works. It works really good. Um, Ayo, you have a question? Yeah, uh, I was just wondering whether you think that going to social media advertising might um, might make you less inclined to do some of the crazy things you've been doing now anyway? How are you going to maintain that balance? Because it takes a fair amount of energy to do a social media marketing campaign. But it sounds like the energy you've put into the place makes okay. it unique because it doesn't have a social media presence. And I think people might pick up on a shift in energy. Do you think that will make a change? Um, no, really. I assume we're, so we're not going to be doing any... Um, we're not going to peak or anything. On, on any of the, the uh, our campaigns, uh, it's nothing gonna be. We're not gonna use pay advertising in, in general, like a Facebook ads or nothing like that. It's all gonna be more in uh, uh, a social media type of um, brand page, just to where we can share some of the best uh, moments, you can say, and, and let people interact, and maybe help them maybe even share even more, maybe hopefully, <laughs> right from the from the page. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, yes, uh, I prefer for them to share directly in there or engage in their profile than for them to engage in us. <laughs> it's way better. It works. It's um, uh, give you better uh, better exposure because it's um, it's them telling the story, not you. <laughs> it's basically third-party verification. Exactly. Exactly. There's another question from Trudy. Uh, she's asking, do you think this would work for outdoor craft shows? Outdoor? Craft shows. Uh, outdoor craft shows? Yeah. I would think so, yes. Yes, but it's, a, it's, a, it's all about, um, like I say, if the location is good, your product, you need to spend a lot of uh, on your product, you need to make sure your product is wow. You have to have a wow factor in your product before you do anything else. If you don't have a lot of fact in the you need to work hard, uh, harder, uh, have some people test it, and, and get the, the feedback so you can improve. Okay. But after, after you get that, uh, up to the point, just, just go and do what you do best. Just make, make sure that you put it in front of people the right way and put it in a creative way. 
in a way that no usually they, they, they will not usually see it okay and that makes it makes it more uh, more shareable people will be willing to share the stuff like that something different if you do in a different way so let's uh let's move to online marketing a little bit um, and actually you have all kinds of like mobile tactics that you use to uh, to get your customers in the door do you want to talk about that, or do you want to talk more about uh, website conversion? Um, well, the on the mobile part, let me um, explain a little on the mobile part. Um, uh, what, if, what, like I said, what works for me is apps. Having your own brand in the customer's uh, cell phone works really excellent. Uh, um, uh, text marketing is also one of the best ways to. Um, to keep in touch with your with your audience, um, Bluetooth. If you have a local restaurant, you know, a local a local um, uh, what do you call it, a local store, Bluetooth works excellent. Especially to uh, Bluetooth and a combination of Bluetooth marketing, which is proximity marketing, and um, uh, and text marketing. If you use those two in a in a in a, in a really good combination, you can bring people when and when you uh, your store or your, or your restaurant is had a slow time, so you can make, make sure you keep that traffic coming no matter what. You know, you keep that that, that, that steady traffic at all times. So always uh, text marketing and Bluetooth works excellent for for those uh, um, those uh, periods of time that is just slow for any type of uh, for any type of business. Okay. Um, another thing that we do in, um, in it's mobile. Um, when you when you do the apps, make sure that you add. You can you can um, you have the power to change anything on it. it. Can be you or your developer. You can change and automatically will change on the on, on the on your on your uh, customer itself. Excuse me. So um, if you um, if you do that, you can have we like for example we have a page that is um, uh, today's coupon. Okay. So we upload that image every. Um, Every day, and when they click on it, they're gonna see what's today. Uh, we also have two, two, uh, one page inside the app. It's called um, uh, today's crazy picture. So we put something that crazy that happened on the, in the store that day. We put it there too. Um, another thing that you the works excellent is uh, we celebrate our people's successes in with everybody else in in, in the restaurant. For example, if you someone got um, if it's a new hire or uh, someone, uh, one of the employees got an award or, or um, anything like that, we don't do celebrate. We don't celebrate behind doors. Yes, with the staff. No, we, we bring the we bring the party to the to the cast. So we make them be part of it, and everybody get cakes or if somebody gets uh, everybody get free drinks on the moment. You know, something crazy, and people were like, "Whoa, they give a free drinks here. This is you know," and uh, we make them be part of the, the, the um, any event do anything that you can that you can think of into an event for it. And, and, and this works because that, uh, people just love to be part of something so you basically make your restaurant very personal for your customers they they come there they they play they exactly. compete they get uh, free stuff they get rewards for referring people um, and then they get celebrated when they have birthdays and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like uh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You took the cheers, Marty. You, you, you don't you don't have to use uh, uh, girls in a small store like Twitter to have a successful <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> That's true. I know. I know. I think now that um, I remember um, uh, uh, the Shira with us. You know, Shira knows a lot about Kindle. And Kindle publishing. Uh, what we've done with that is we we outsource some um, someone to write a, a, like around maybe different, maybe around 100 to 150 different uh, small ebooks, recipe ebooks that are a little bit relevant to us. Not really a recipe, so it's relevant to our to our stuff. Okay. And try, try to, we try to make sure that you know, every recipe is really nice, something like this. Uh, close to the kind of product that we offer, and then what we do, 
we are load those all those um, uh, ebooks on on Amazon, okay, and give them up for free. We we try, we test the both sides. We give half of them for free, okay. Actually, uh, not half, but like a third for free. Uh, the other the other part we give it for a really low price for like things I think nine ninety nine cents I think the minimum or two two ninety nine something like that. And we sell another one for around five five dollars each. Okay, just to test it to see how, how it works. And actually, all three work really good. The um, the people that usually get the free one, okay, it will buy the other one, the other two after. Okay, we didn't do it for making money. <laughs> we did it for the brand to bring the brand out in a different way. And why not uh, use traffic, uh, massive traffic that uh, the Amazon is already getting? You know, so. I think that's uh, uh, another way, a little more, you know, you can say a little bit creative how to decide. But uh, she will know how to do that. I don't, I, I really know not too, not, not too much about how uh, I, I have a couple of ebooks that actually I, I wrote and I want to bring to uh, Kindle, haven't done yet. <laughs> but, so uh, uh huh. You also, um, did you put your website in Google Local and you claimed your site uh, in directories? No. You haven't done that yet. No, you, uh, I can't. Not yet. No, because <laughs> because of the <that. laughs> nothing. Not, because that would be more like direct. Okay, so you had uh, had to avoid anything, any direct um, um, type of marketing. Okay, okay. and uh, no direct marketing, no um, um, you can say um, uh, no social media, especially direct social media. Okay, like I can't have my own page or I cannot talk about it in my own profile or nothing. No, I can't do it. <laughs> so if someone is driving by your restaurant and they are looking on their mobile for restaurants in the area, will your restaurant pop up? Yes. yes. And that's, uh, but you did not, you didn't put them on Google Maps? No. So we have a regular, regular uh, mobile, mobile, uh, uh, mobile website. Is it? That is, um, you can see a little bit optim optimized for it. And, uh, uh, and because it's um, a new target type of keyword, this makes it easier for 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 the site to to come out on, on the on the results. And when they're searching for it, will they also see your offer, like 20% off or something for the day? Well, actually, we say if you've never been here before, uh, come in and, and I make sure that I pay for half of the meal. Oh wow! So you give them fifty percent off just for trying you out? Yes. Well, that will get me to your restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if I want to try something new, I'll be like, okay, I'm in the area. Let's go check it out. <laughs> and then you make me run with a spoon to see if I can get my whole meal for free. Oh, definitely. You need. To, well, you have to put your name on the list because people love to do those things. <laughs> we like telling, hey. Uh, um, we're gonna have a competition outside. Uh, every um, the two families that wanna that wanna compete, they have to put their name in, and we you know repeat the, the names, and uh, you have to run with the with a spoon with the egg on it, and if you win, you get a free meal that that day for you for your whole family. Yep. <laughs> it's really cool. So I am uh, I'm actually gonna open it up for questions right now. We have 15 more minutes. So anyone you can up, um, unmute your mics and ask away. Hey, Stuart just joined us. Hi, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> so, Louis, how much longer do you have till this bet is over with? I uh, supposed to be past my birthday, oh, uh, which yeah. is in September. So, hopefully, before Christmas, I can go crazy on the, on the web. <laughs> oh, okay, because uh, Sheer and I are wondering when this is going to end, so you could really open up the floodgates and make some money. Oh no, definitely, I will. Um, I will, and uh, as, as soon as I. Uh, I'm gonna try to um, also maybe do some hangouts so you can can meet, you know, can see <laughs> what's okay. going on, on, you know, live. <laughs> Great. That's actually a GFAD uh, idea. GFAD, <laughs> uh, uh, we can't hear you. <laughs> I was just muting myself for the echo. Um, <laughs> I like your ideas. I think it would be fun, like you know, to see the people standing outside the theaters and 
<laughs> or they get the purple cow outside the restaurant. And, uh, oh, yeah, they can write in everything. <laughs> and actually, you can get ideas from people, you know, from your stream. Oh, no, definitely, definitely. I, 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 you know, it's a lot of different things that you can do if you do a hangout, you know, and, and do that kind of interaction. Um, maybe ask for uh, what we can do next, you know, to the people on the stream, so, and, and they come up with ideas, you know, and we do it on the spot. <laughs> So Actually, I, have, I, have a, I have another question, quick one. Yes. Do you think that um, the ideas that you've had will work in any other country? How, how, how any portable other do you think they are? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure how well they'd work here in England. Um, <laughs> it depends <laughs> on the city, really. But do you, how much do you think the location is responsible for the ideas you've had? No, I I think it will work. I think it will work because uh, it's uh, uh, this type of idea, this type of um, marketing is a more, little more general, you can say, and it doesn't go more doesn't doesn't uh, reflect on the type of uh, business that's more in or on or in the or in the place. It's more um, it's more about the people. Okay, so try to see what people would like to do for you, and I w I would actually recommend you to just uh, start some, start your own uh, team right away, and, and see how it works. You know, see how people um, like it, and maybe get some feedback from them, and maybe get some extra ideas. That they usually come out with great ideas too. Is there any idea that you guys love the most of everything that um, Luis was talking about? Uh, yes, I was watching oh. on the stream. You said. And uh, there was a mention of a, a special table that was off kilter, and it turned yes. into a contest. Yeah, now, <laughs> that seems to me would generate a lot of word of mouth oh, everywhere. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So I, I don't know how that would work into other businesses, but certainly in your business, I think uh, uh, it would be very effective at getting people saying, what the heck is this, and i got to try it. <laughs> Exactly. I, I think I think if you had a bar, it would be great for drinking games. You have the slightly off kilter table, but have it rotating, and every time it passes you, <laughs> take a drink. <laughs> It'd be a great drinking game. But I also think that uh, I mean, if I was going to come there, I'd, I'd I'd love to sit on one of the Microsoft Surface tables just for the fun of that. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, it's a great use of the technology. Definitely. Definitely. That would be pretty expensive, though. That's the only problem with Microsoft Table is that it's 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 a very expensive expensive proposition for a small restaurant to get into. So the question becomes, yeah, how yeah. quickly can you recover the costs? And most restaurants, it's the same thing with online ordering. You know, the ideas of something like Wink, like uh, the um, you know the guy that started Atari had this restaurant that you can order from every table, and it's a great idea, but it didn't really expand big time on all the restaurants because it's expensive. Even at today's computer prices, it's expensive to put a, you know, an ordering station on every single table you have in a restaurant. Well, um, let me tell you, you can, you can tune your, your mobile app in your own uh, let's say ordering station, and you don't really need to have a, um, any type of um, computer set up there because every customer they have their own computer in their hand with their cell phone. And true. You, yeah, that's and, true. And that's another thing that we try. That is, you can try, and it's, it works too. Especially now, now that people have been more comfortable to do different things in, on, on, the, on their on their cell phones. Yeah, the only challenge I think. Uh, by the way, just you know, for full disclosure, I have a business. Uh, I wrote a system for restaurants to to provide online ordering. So that's what I do. So that's some kind of in the mm -hmm. restaurant sphere. But. Um, it's one of these deals where, you know, before there had to be a touch screen computer, all that. That's what I was saying was expensive. What you're saying is definitely makes a lot more, makes a lot more affordable. The only question becomes, it, with a lot of restaurants that I at least talk to, uh, they're not very computer savvy at all. In fact, a lot of my orders that I do on my system wind up going through fax to them because they don't have a computer and they don't have yeah, Wi-Fi, no. so it winds up being, you know, fax that they get. But if you put the technology, lack of technology savvy aside. You know, if you know, you either have to provide these tablets yourself, you know, as the restaurants would do, or people need to bring in the customers' would. And the customers, most customers nowadays do have smartphone, 
you know, probably, I don't know, probably 70% or so. Mm -hmm. But they don't have tablets yet. And they do go to a restaurant with a family bringing a tablet with them. That's and right. on the phone, one of the challenges, the thing, is the size of menus. I have some restaurants that have 200, 300 items on their menus. Sure. And to try to go through that on a tiny little phone, I mean, it's just not very practical. No, no, of course, of course. So that, those are the challenges. I don't know, maybe you have some words of wisdom on that, how you get around that kind of stuff, but that's, that's the challenge I've had. Well, it's, yeah, it's, um, for, if it's not, if it's not has to it or, or the business has way too many uh, services or problems, it's, it will definitely be a challenge if to put all that in, in, um, in a mobile app. But um, uh, you can still try to use the mobile app for the main um, items and still work in that in, in that area, and you know, and provide the for for um, you can say into into do um upgrade or something, provide the regular menu, but you can still make that menu uh, a little more um you can say eye catching, but, but find something in a way though to make to to tune that you know everybody everybody's menu looks the same, okay, maybe different color, but everybody menu looks the same. So what about becoming the purple color in the menu? You know, do something different instead of uh, I don't know, instead of opening one size or, or uh, providing many pictures or, or um, you can say. Um, well, one of the things you could do with a mobile app is filter the menu according to your dietary requirements. If you're vegetarian, just filter and show it vegetarian. If you're if you prefer a certain type of food, you just filter it according to that. But that kind of thing could work exactly. well in a mobile can, menu. Exactly. That's a great well, idea. Yeah, that, that was my next yeah. question. Yeah. Does it make sense, in your opinion, to have a smaller, a subset menu for mobile devices? Which is definitely right. It's, it's good to have uh, some part of your menu in it, in your, in your mobile device, in, in, in your app. Well, I'd, I'd say you have the full menu, but then have it filterable. So if you if you're in the mood for chicken, you just hit chicken, and it'll bring up all, all the chicken dishes. Or if you pick a uh, Makes sense. Pick a, a main a course, one. then you can have chef's recommendations for a wine to go with a course and a dessert to go with a course, just wow. to give you the, the chef's, um, you know, ideas. So that it gives you a bit of a, a bit of a better idea on what to order and, uh, and improve your dining experience. So it's one of the things that mobile menus would be great for. Wouldn't there be a um, a full business opportunity here? To, if you have the capital, to simply provide a end-to-end -end experience uh, or, or an end-to-end -end system for a restaurant, go in as the guy who's going to set it all up and get it together so the non-computer restaurateur doesn't yeah. have to That's try right. to do that? Well, I'm already doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I imagined you guys were four <laughs> steps ahead of me. I, I was, uh, I'm already into that. It actually and is, uh, and it works because of that. I mean, people people are looking for this type of um, uh, different ways to get into the the, the, um, the customers. Um, you can say no mind, but uh, be become a choice for them. You know. And it's actually one thing else that you were saying, Luis, is that you you don't use social media. You use your customers' social media presence. So they're tweeting about you. They're using their own Facebook to talk about mm -hmm. you. They're using Google. And they're doing all that from their mobile devices. So yep, yep. obviously they're coming with the mobile devices to your restaurant so they can use that to order, to play, to talk about you, to take pictures, and actually um, spread the word. So it sounds like it's kind of like a win-win um, yeah, and yeah. not very expensive, but you, you don't have to invest in anything. People already come with their computers to your restaurant. Exactly. exactly. You, you usually, you, the only thing you have to spend is a little bit of time of uh, do some creativity to work and, you know, and then find, find come out with different ways or different uh, ideas to, 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 uh, to make your, um, your business or, or, or your service or product more catchy or, uh, or you know, like, like, like you say, remarkable. So the people can we actually willing to share. So let's sum it up. Just tell us again. You're in Boston, and what type of restaurants do you have? Uh, what kind of food you guys like? Thai. <laughs> They're Thai Thai restaurants. Yes. And they are in Boston. Uh, you can find uh, Boston in New Hampshire. 
<laughs> yeah, I can say too much, but yeah, both in the Oh, right, you can't use social media. You're using my social media <laughs> now, so you can talk about your restaurant. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know I, I'm the one talking about it, so it's not the other way. <laughs> well, just type it in the chat and I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. So, <laughs> if, so if you're better, <laughs> better just better just send an email and let you can't say it. <laughs> so if you are in Boston and you are in the mood for Thai food and some fun, look up uh, <laughs> Louis. <laughs> and um, and that's it. So I uh, if there are no other questions, I'm gonna close it up and thank everybody. And um, this Thursday at 11 a.m. I am interviewing Jane. Um, don't remember her last name, but she is a promoter for a bunch of Hollywood celebs, so you should be on uh, watching it. So That's I will awesome. see you uh, this Thursday, 11 a.m. And thank you so much, Louis, and thank you everybody for joining. Oh, thank you, Japan. Thank, thank you, everybody. It was thank awesome you. to have you guys. Yeah. And follow Louis. He's a great resource for all kinds of promotional information. Nah, so so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see thank you guys. You, Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks, Japan. Bye-bye.